Okay, hello everyone. My name is, um, I just bent down here a little bit. My name is Katrina Savage and um, I've owned Golden for many a year and I have been asked just to give a quick demonstration on how I trim my goldies. Now I suppose from the outset I must say I am not a trained groomer and um, this is just the way I prepare my own goldies for show. So this young bitch is, um, well, she's two and a half and she hasn't been trimmed in a while, so she has a full, a full neck of um, hair here and her ears, her paws, everything. And um, she needs a full trim. So I'm going to show you the way I, I do it, um, and the way I prepare them for show. So this car is going to take a little bit of time. Um, the video will probably be edited, but we'll get through it as best we can. So um, we'll get started. Right. So first of all. I'm just going to turn her slightly so that you can see um, what I'm doing around her her ear and that right so that should be that should be okay so basically um, a show trim on a bitch you want to emphasize so basically you're only trying to accentuate what is there okay and I suppose each dog is slightly different to what you want to um, show and not show to the judge so this girl is a golden bitch and she is white feathering so they're a little bit more difficult to trim because as you can see there's flecks of gold here so you really have to get in underneath the undercoat and you're only taking out the undercoat and leaving the top coat because you don't want to form a huge bib on her okay so if we look for Nessa's length of neck white shoulder is here so we're going down along the top of the shoulder here and into her upper arm okay so basically we want to trim and tidy up this okay on here and on both sides so um where i normally start with them i'm just going to move her in a little bit onto the table because her bum is falling off and <laughs> um, where i normally start with them is i start with the actual ear okay so um for the outline of the ear i you know, i use a straight edge scissors okay ring finger two on the blade hold out the ear and trim it up just going around the edge okay be careful there's a flap here okay you don't want to cut the flap all right be very careful of that it's going to go around the other side you should still probably be able to see that and just it's exactly the same cut around the edge of the ear okay now what i propose to do is i'll do one side um, and then we'll come back and we'll do the middle and um, there's no point in having a video going on for ages so when you have the outline of the ear done um, what I do then is with my comb um, brush down the hair on the outside of the ear okay and then I have a very very small thinning scissors all my thinning scissors are rose line so this one is watch this but anyway it's um it's a very very small thinning scissors and again on your middle finger and just lift out the ear and trim into the ear flap and just tidy up all the little wispy bits like that okay and then once you have used your scissors you can trim away the excess hair turn over the ear flap and then you just tidy in all the loose hair now be very careful because there's a little piece of the ear here right you don't want to get that caught in your scissors okay so be very careful going in on it like that just trim away all the excess hair there and i like to leave a little bit of hair here because the goldie is supposed to have a soft expression and sometimes if you trim it in too tight you take away that really soft expression off of their face and that is not pleasant so just trim that up there and in here back of the ear next to around so I'm just going in here the back of the ear like that okay and then here home then again 
and then any hair then that comes down over the ear flap then just with a thin in scissors okay so you keep it nice and natural so that it doesn't look as if you run the straight edge around it okay then you take away all of this now again you can move on to the bigger your bigger thinning scissors here but i just like to keep it nice and neat here and i like the smaller thinning scissors around you like that okay right Now, as you can see on this lady, if I turn her around there again, <laughs> she's got a lot going on here, okay? So, um, with your thinning scissors then, I move on to a bigger one. This again is a rose line. I don't know if the size is around them. I can't see it if it is. Um, and I just use this one here, right? So lift up her head and I like to lift her ear out of the way, okay? And then, you're literally going in now make sure you go right in to the skin okay so you should never see the top or the blade of your scissors okay be mindful of the ear here so if you're not sure put your own finger there so that you're not going to go up and damage or hurt her okay so in a couple of times right then let your scissors pull out what you have them um, what you cut out okay you can see there there's a good bit after coming out in that all right let me get a pin here now hold up this time so comb again now this is now in full coat right so you can see here that this is not sitting in terribly well either, right? I'm actually on her shoulder, if I turn around there like that, right? So what I do just very gently and very quickly, just right in again and against the skin and just take the heavy weight out of that. Now, as you can see, there's very little coming out on the scissors. So you just brush it down then through the coat and you can see then that that hair now sits down on her shoulder okay so again and always 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 up against the hair growth okay never cut down right in so you can't see the scissors at all okay Now, I'm just going to turn her back around towards me a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you should still be all be able to see that. Hey, look at Good girl. Your breastbone is used roughly as a marker, so Nessus is there, so I stop just before it, okay? You don't have to cut down further than a breastbone. So every time then you um, cut in, you come back with your scissors to make sure that you're not going in too tight. Okay, so up again, pet. And just be careful here sometimes dogs have um it can be a little bit throaty and have a flap of skin here and if that is the case the next has a little bit clean neck but if that is the case you want to be very careful that you don't cut skin there so a trick that i would show is if you pull back the back of her neck and pull her skin tight then you can work away but again right in 
against the skin with the thinning scissors. Okay, two or three cuts and come out then what you have taken. Okay. Okay. Look at The other thing I'd say to anybody who's um, learning how to do this, never do this the night before the show. Okay. This should a big heavy trim like this should be done two or three weeks before the show. So that if you do cut in or if you do have a line that the coat can grow out um, and it doesn't look like it has been um cut into, okay. If you have a blonde dog, they're much more forgiving and um, much easier to trim. And if you have a curly coated dog, just be really careful that you don't take too much of the top coat because <laughs> you'll have a lot of hairs sticking up all over the place. And um, Nessa, as you can see, is a very, she's a very flat coat. She doesn't really have kinks or anything in her hair, so she's easy enough to groom and to trim. So take stock all the time. Make sure that um, you're not taking too much. Um, have a kind of in your head what way you want her to look. So if you just want her to look barely, barely tidied, well then that's as deep as you go and um, if you want um, a tighter trim you know it's, it's very much up to yourself then how much you want to take off okay so we're nearly we're nearly close now to having an up gone off of this side so i'm just going to finish her up this side Right, so I'm happy with that side now, okay. Um, let's see now how that. Put this side of the other one here a little bit more. Like that. And then, the straggly hairs on the top.
All right, so um, I'm happy enough with that now. I'm not going to take any more off of there now until I go around the other side and then we can balance her up. So if you look at her there now, her ear is nice and trimmed in and then the neck and out into her shoulder here. Okay, so I'll go around now the other side and I will trim her other side. Now, because I'm right handed, this side is going to be more tricky for the camera, but um, we'll try our best. So just make sure you brush it out first so that the scissors can actually go through. Okay, now we're done. Yeah, we've done the straight edge. Okay, we want to get our little thinning scissors then. So I'll move you around there. And I will just, again, comb out her ear. Okay, comb it down there. And then with my thinning, just go in to take out any of the stuff. Again, we're looking for a nice flat, straight around the top. Now, sometimes for these really little wispy bits on the top, right, if you see that the thinning scissors is too severe, very small stripping knife, right? One finger on top of where you're going to strip, and one thumb under the hair and just gently just move it down okay and that will take off um and, and like that you're only taking off where's the camera the little wispy bits like that okay now i wouldn't suggest you use that for the whole ear because that's not really necessary then it won't loop around Okay, and that gives you a nice soft finish as well. Then, when we turn over the ear, then so you're looking at all of this fluffy bit here. So you can trim in all that. Again, you're obviously not going near the ear structure. You're only making the hair. Okay, yes sir. Okay, have a look in here, and I'm just walking again up through this part here. I don't know if I'm covering you that now. Okay, and now we will change back over then to our bigger um, thinning scissors, okay? And again, I'm going to start out here where this is not sitting in on her shoulder, okay? It's going out, right? So I'm just going to run the comb through it. And again, I'm just going to put the scissors through it. Okay. Okay. And then comb it out. And again, if you 
scanners in the room if you need some holes in them to me. You can see now it's sitting flat there. All right, like so. Okay, now, so then we will move back on. So if I just bring the camera around here, if you look at her head on now for the moment, right, you can see how unbalanced she is from one side to the other. All right, so that's what you're taking off. And now we're gonna do the same on this side okay so if i leave the camera like that you should be able to see it right so comb again and then we can start so i'm doing two or three cuts when I put in my scissors, and as you can see, you can see the top of the scissors, right? So I'm right in against her skin, okay? And then when you have um, a few cuts in there, I just comb it out. So you can see there the way like her top coat is left, all right? So her gold coat is there, and we're just literally taking out the fluff of the undercoat underneath it. Okay, and we'll repeat another few times until we take up what we're happy with. If you want to, or if you would prefer to, you can just do one or two cuts um, and make sure that you are only taking the undercoat that you're right in against her skin um, until you get, I suppose, more confident in what you need to take. Okay, so we'll see how we're fixed now. Right. So as you can see then, as you take the hair away, the hair around her ear becomes more pronounced, okay? So you can just work on shaping that and just make sure you don't catch your ear, okay? So if you're unsure, always lift up the ear, flap, and then you know where to start and where to stop, okay? And then for the neat little work in and around the ear, I prefer my smaller thinning scissors and I work like that right around the face because it's more forgiving and it looks more natural when she's finished. Okay, so we're, we're going to concentrate now on this part here. Okay, there's one little piece of hair standing up there still. So. We'll work on taking that out. Mess up, hold up. Mess up. Okay. Right. So then
In the very front, so if I turn her back, maybe this way. Okay, right. So, if you see, we're just literally it's just this little bit here that we're now concerned with. So, again, if you want to, you can pull back on her neck. So I think I've enough off of that now. Now I'm just going to tidy the little bits here. Yeah, I'm just sticking out a little bit. So I'll just nip those. Okay. Look very. Same here. Just tidy those little bits there. Okay. Now. Show me this. Okay, so now you can see there's her breastbone. Okay, we worked on that. We've trimmed it in so that she's a nice neck, nice ear set. Her ears are nice and tidy. She retains that nice gentle expression. There's no harshness gone into her. Okay, now I'll stand her and I will show you then. Um, from the side, what she now looks like. Okay, and this is the time then when you can decide whether you need to take more off of her, or you have enough, or you're not happy, or you want to fix something, or whatever you need to do. Okay, so let's get rid of all the this hair. Now, if I stand her, and let's see. Okay, so we just give her a quick comb. I just see there's a little bit here that has to come out now before. Now, so we'll ask for the sand again. Sand this. Now, if I bring, if I actually try, hang on, I'll turn the camera this way. Oh, right, 
What's your injuries? Okay. So I don't know why the camera won't let me turn it the other way. Um, so now I hold it out here. Okay. So you can see that she is trimmed. You can see her shoulder coming down here. Okay. Um, her ear is nicely trimmed. Ear flap and her front okay so we haven't taken too much out but yet she looks nice and tidy without looking over trimmed and um, we don't have any white marks or bibs or anything like that going on come around this side it's the same okay so she's in there i'll just i'll try to stand her with the thing and then i can show you Now, so if I show you her now, maybe she might stand with her head up. Okay, so you can see this is trimmed in nicely there. Okay, around the front and then around the other side. Okay. Now, if we move on then, and we will look at her tail right i might be able to do this while she's standing there but while she's standing here so the tail should reach the top of their hock okay so basically it is a um if i turn well yeah um it is a finger thumb placement past the tip of her tail is what we're looking for okay so slick her brush first, brush it out, and then get your comb, stamp it, okay, and brush it out, okay, and brush it down, like so, okay. So then you gather it up, find the end of her bone in her tail, and then you simply put a finger's width. So there's her bone, right? If I pull back the hair, then I'm putting my hand there, and then width. <coughs> With a straight edged scissors, then from there, no one else, they have to stand it. Right? Stand, stand now. Straight edge scissors, then from there, I'm just pushing that. Okay, like that. Oh, my hand has gone into cramp. <laughs> right. So then you're looking then basically for a fan. <laughs> so the fan is thicker here at the base of the tail and gets um, lighter as it moves out. Okay. So I often find, because their tails are quite thick, that if you cut one side first and then the other, okay. So with your straight edge, you're cutting them around. Move the top. 
Okay, stand. Let's go back and see that I haven't made it terribly straight. Okay, and then do it from the other side. Okay, and that's her tail done. And then if you see where that that actually hits then the top of her stifles. Oh, that hits the top of her hock there. Okay. Right. Now I'm gonna try and do her paws. I don't know how I'm going to record her paws. We'll see. Can I lower down the camera because I can't hide off the table so we'll just see if I can position her first Okay, now. Let's see, hold on, let me get to so see what I'm doing with her paws. Stay there in a second now. Wait, wait, yeah, you can see. See, baby. See her paws now. Okay. Right, right down, right down. Okay, so if we start with our hind paw then, okay, so this is from the hock down to the pad. So we brush up the hair that lives there, put in a comb, pull it down onto it. And then get your thinning scissors and run the thinning scissors along the comb. Like so. And then straight down. Okay, and that tidies that up. Then you want to get your straight edge scissors. And just follow the lines of the paws in around. Okay, so like that. And again, be very careful that you obviously don't hit a paw. I'm just going to have to get um, a chair to sit on where my back is killing me. So just one second. Stay, 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 Nessa, stay, Nessa, stay. Stay, now. stay, stay, stay. Nessa, stay. I won't be back in a minute. Stay. Nessa! Nessa, good girl. We come back then to the paws, right? So we're just trimming, trimming around. Be very careful. Just trimming right around. Pull down the hair in between the pads. Mm -hmm. 
When I stand her back up on the table then um, any hair that's then left I use the thinning scissors and I will just trim down on it when she is standing. Okay, so the same then on this this paw, pull out the hair with your comb, pop your comb in, pull it down again. Okay. And we can pull that down there. Okay. It's nice and neat. And then again, get your straight edge scissors. And you can flip around the pads. Like so. Just be very careful that you are only trimming the pads. Okay. That nice and neat. Then any hair that's in between the toes is pulled down and then trim. Okay. And then trim. Now guys, you're not making life too easy for me now. Okay, and then when we stand her up, any hair then that is them um, left we can trim. I'll show you how to do that with thinning scissors. Okay, so now we are on to her front paws. So, again, just get her to lie down. Good girl. And what you're looking for here, so come out for feathering. Okay. So, again, her feathering is going to be gone. So, here's her pad, her stock here and down to here. So what you're looking for along here on the outside of the paw is a straight edge here, okay? So again, with your scissors, so from the black pad here to the black pad here, straight edge in with your straight edge scissors. Wait now, please. Right, okay. So there's your straight edge, okay? Then, for the, the hair that's left then on the back of her pastern, your thinning scissors. Okay. Let me just get all the hair that's in that. Lay down, Pat. Lay down. Good girl. Um, now, her nail is going to be here on the other side. So cover that with your own finger because you don't want to catch that in the scissors. Okay. And you Trim that out. Okay. All right. Then get back your straight edge, and then you're literally just stop now, trimming around the black of. Pad, okay. Around like that. Now you have to give them a little bit of credit here. This does take them. And then in here, then between her four pads and the fifth one, or right, do you want to take that hair out of there as well? Anybody who um who works their dogs, or even anybody who's walking their dogs, especially during the winter, where they where they pick up muck and dirt and that in their paws, 
just make sure that you check in here between their toes and that there's no little sticks or anything because it can cause them a lot of problems. And the basic shape you're looking for with a body is that they have cat-like feet, okay? So you're going to trim to the best of your advantage. Now, I know those have, those of this have to come up, but I will show you what to do with those little thinning scissors um, when I stand her up. Okay. Trim all that off to make it nice and neat and even, okay? And then the same... Um, the other one. Right. Now, if you, if sometimes if you want to turn her over to do this on the other side, fair enough. Um, I just tend to do it all on the one side, and then trim out all the excess hair. Thinning scissors for here again. I'm watching the nail, you can see the nail on this side, so it's not so bad. Okay, and then Some people I know they throw past the nail. I never do. I show you what I do when I stand her up. Um, to tidy up all those little whiskey bits. Right. So we're down to the final hurdle then. Just those little whiskey bits on her. Toes. I just keep checking if there's anything to see around her head or her ears if you'd like to um, just tidy. Right, so I'll stand her up now and I'll show you what I do with her just to finish off her toes. Are you want to stand up, baby? You nice and relaxed there now. Okay. So I turn it around this way. So it should be facing us when we do this. Open your pet. Stand. Okay. Now. I'll put it out there again so your feet. So our feet are 90% done now. Okay. But as you can see, there is a few little crispy bits left. So all I tend to do is just trim those down from the top. If you all, if all it is is the hair that's in between the toes. So you can trim those down that way. Okay, and then you can see it's a nice. Now, if you really want to, you can then go across the end of the grooming table and trim. Now sometimes to me that looks a little bit too manufactured but to each their own. So you can see the difference there between the two, okay? So I'm woven on this one. So I'm just going to 
pull up the little bits and then that's all I'm taking out then with the little small thin scissors. Okay, we can place her paw back down then, put pressure on it so that it's down and then as I said if you want to then you can go around the edges of your pad. And then trim right here. Okay. And the same back, stand up it. So you're pulling up what's left between the pads. Okay, so then at the end of the day, you should have a nicely groomed, natural looking retriever. Okay. Okay, so front. Neck, feet, back feet, and then her tail. Okay. Good girl. Now, sit down. Sit. You can sit now. Okay, and there's Rosa. Alright. Good girl.